Okay, first of all, I'd just like to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody at uh, the Ron Allison Race School at Doynton. Uh, me and Gina went on Wednesday um, and we had a fantastic time. And we just want to talk a little bit about it. So if anyone is planning uh, to do one, yeah, hopefully we can give them a little bit of insight. Maybe if they're a bit nervous and they're not planning it because of that, we can probably say there's nothing to be nervous about, is there? No, not at all. Um, <laughs> we, had, we, we had a fantastic time. Um, right from the moment we got there um, and we'll just talk a little bit about from the moment we got there what happened and yeah and go from there eh? yeah I mean first impression was it was wet in the morning <laughs> and you're thinking this is the first time I've ever ridden a race bike <laughs> um, it's a wet track it's slippy it's on a track I've never ridden before all these things are going through your head. Yeah. You're just really nervous when you arrive. Yeah, nervous. Um, but kicking, they right. seem to put you at ease quite quite quickly at reception when you're signing in. Uh, you know, very friendly staff there. Uh, so they put you at ease quite fast. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a little place you can sit down and have a coffee, just get your bearings. Yeah. And uh, and then it's time to sign on, and then off to go and get fitted for your kit. Yeah. So, so it did. Like I said, uh, Donington, the Rising Race School. You, you don't have to go with anything. You can literally just turn up yourself. I mean, you don't even have to take your driving license. We were, do we need a driving license to it? Mm -hmm. You don't have to take anything. It tells you that in the pack that they send you in the post. So you, you book it, they send you a pack in the post, and in that pack is everything you need to know, really, on, on what you do or don't need to take. Um, but like you said, they've got a fitting room there, so you, 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 go, you, you sign in. There is a form you have to fill out. Uh, while you're there, it's, it's two seconds and then they'll tell you where to go um, if you need to get the kit. We took our own kit, so we didn't need any, but they still want to inspect your helmet to make sure it's up to standard and it's in shape and it's got the gold ACU on. Um, so yeah, we, we went into the garage, um, or you would have gone into the garage if you hadn't got any kit. Um, they size you up. Yeah, then there's a fitting room yeah. where you can keep all your clothing. You get basically get changed. They have uh, little clothing stations that you keep your clothes in, uh, so all your belongings, all your personal effects are all safely stowed away, so you don't have to worry about that. Mobile phones, wallets, etc. Everything's yeah. safely looked after. Yeah. Uh, so you get kitted out. Everyone, to be fair, everyone who was kitted out, the fit, you know, the kit, it looked like it fit them great. So yeah. you know, I don't think there's any any worries over you know the kit you're wearing no. stuff like that. We've got a massive range of kit from small right to the to the bigger guys. Yeah. Um, and like you say, everybody looked like it was even their own. like the uh, little station for maintenance on your crash helmet. Yeah. You had um, you know a little visor cleaner so you could clean your visors before you went out. Yeah. Just little things like that really made a difference. Yeah. So. Um, our eye guy was there actually, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, the the RI chat was there. If you have an RI helmet, would service it for you. Yeah. Uh, any parts you needed, you know, that was all taken care of as well. It's a good setup, isn't it? Yeah, very good. Um, very well organised. So you've had your basic briefing telling you about flags, colours of flags. I don't know anything about colours of flags. They tell you all about that. Um, you get your kit if you if you need your kit. If you've got your kit, that's fair enough. Um, and then from there. Um, we went into another garage where we were assigned uh, bikes and an instructor. Yeah. Basically, we did the um, premiere premier package, which meant me and Gino, um, obviously there's two of us that went, we had one instructor for both of us. So you get paired off. Luckily, I'd say there's two of us, so we were paired together, and you get an instructor. Yeah. Yeah. So if there's twelve of you there, there's going to be six instructors. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which is fantastic. Um, he talks to you about the bike, um, about what you're going to be doing, and then asks you about your level of riding as well. Yeah. yeah asks you, know, you what you're riding on the road. Yeah. What um, sort of levels you've ridden at? Have you ever done track days before? Yeah. You know, just trying to gauge your experience really, so that he knows what he can do, how far he can push you when you're first going out there. Yeah. So, I mean, even that puts you at ease because, you know, you're worried that your first thing you're going to do is you're going to get out on the track and this instructor is going to disappear off into the distance and you're yeah. going to be thinking, what's just happened? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. So. but they're constantly, constantly reassuring you. Yeah. His bike has mirrors on. The instructor's bike have, have mirrors on and they're constantly watching you. And if, if they feel that you're lagging a little bit, they're gonna slow down um, and go at your pace. Um, 
And what you do is like, let's say for instance, the first time out, the instructor went out, I followed him out, then Gino followed me. And you're in like a train, they talk to you about the distances they want you to be at and try and stay at those distances. And then halfway through each session, you'll go like this with his hand. And that means yeah, swap you, places. you swap places. Yeah, so the back guy then gets a, an insight a better insight we found, didn't we? Yeah, definitely. When you were the, when you were the last man, you were doing it, but you were watching the man in front and the instructor, and it was a little bit more difficult, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, and that's why he rotates you, and that was a yeah. fantastic idea, and it, it made a massive difference, didn't it? Yeah. Our instructor uh, Howard, his name was. Uh, thank you, Howard. If you ever watched, yeah, I mean, this. He's, he's a he dream, was, isn't he? Yeah, he was he, fantastic. He was really calm, on. really patient. Yeah, uh, put you at ease. Yeah. you know, and he was very uh, complimentary on your skills as well. If you were doing something right, very complimentary. Uh, you know, there was no negative feedback. It was, it was just it was information negative, negative. on negative. trying to get you you riding a little bit better. Yeah. So first session was a little bit hairy because it was very wet first thing. Uh, but we um, we set off and, and started following the instructor, uh, getting a good gauge for it. But um, he soon, to be fair, he soon started uh, picking the pace up the quite pace up. early on. One thing I will mention, because me and Gino, we ride motorbikes on the on the road, but not super sport bikes, okay? Yeah. And the, the brakes <laughs> oh my are, God. don't be pulling <laughs> the brake like how I pull me blooming... <laughs> Kawasaki W800 or me XJ900, don't be pulling it like you pull them or you'd be straight over the handlebars. Um, the brakes are a completely different kettle of fish. They're yeah. so sharp. You're literally one finger on the brake and a yeah. slight pull and the bike is slowing down. Yeah. Um, which we found out on the first corner, didn't we? Both yeah. of us actually, yeah. we both said that. It yeah. was funny. Um, but no, you, you, you're right. It was, um, there's nothing negative ever said, is there? No. After each session out there, um, you, you you come back in and then he's talking to you right guys this was fantastic this was great mm. try and do this a little bit more try and do um, and then like you say you they start actually, to progress then don't you yeah they actually on the, when you finish the first session you go in for your debrief he has a quick chat with you but they actually have a static bike in there and he sits you on the static bike and then he starts talking you through body positioning there about maybe you know trying to Get your body position trying to get you off the bike a little bit help you with your corner speed yeah um so that again really helpful having that static bike because it can tell you where you're going right where you're going wrong where your feet should be on the foot pegs because a lot of the the weight transfer is generated through your feet not through the the bars um which was uh you know news to me really because a lot of the bikes i've ridden i've always been quite tucked in and and really trying you know let the bike do the work when a lot of it should be transferred through the feet so that was um, all good information. Yeah. Um, but we went out for the second session and it was just starting to dry off a little bit then. So your confidence is up. Uh, you're starting to get a bit more familiar with the bike, uh, with the gear changes, things like that. Uh, and that's when he really started to pick up the speed then, uh, which it's, it starts getting quite exciting then. Uh, I think yeah. on some of the photographs I've had taken, I'm smiling, you can see me smiling under the crash <laughs> helmet. So, um, yeah. yeah, it's it's really uh, starts picking the speed up yeah. and it starts getting excited. And the information they give you is relevant then to to that speed picking up, isn't it? Mm. And you can understand why then he starts, right, okay, well, now we're going to start to shift our bum a little bit and maybe put our knee out a little bit and blah, blah, blah. And it's because you are going that bit faster. I mean, yeah. we thought we were going as fast as you like. <laughs> And we weren't, no. <laughs> but yeah. it's... Um, it feels it. It feels it. It feels it. It certainly doesn't feel fast when those fire blades come howling past you, does it? No. That no. puts you into a bit of a, uh, you know, puts it into perspective, doesn't yeah. it? But, or when you, you're going around a fast corner and you think you're going fast and the instructor's got his hand off, pointing at the floor, telling you to try and you know, <laughs> get, get your body off the bike a bit more. Yeah. And he's sort of one-handed going around the corner. It's a bit of a reality check to what these professional guys can yeah, actually yeah, do yeah, yeah yeah totally but by the time the third session comes and it comes quickly doesn't it yeah it does you yeah, go on the third quickly. session and yeah you, you you're traveling at, at, at speeds and and things that you probably haven't done before and it's good it's really good and it's exciting you feel like you're really into it now you're trying your best i mean yeah out of all the pack there's only one guy that actually we're all novices by the way there's only one guy that had got his knee down, didn't he? Yeah, out of I think out probably twenty people, back. and he got room. a golden handshake, didn't yeah. he? So yeah. it made us feel a lot better that we hadn't got our knees down, and yeah. uh, you know yeah. we we weren't the other ones. It wasn't through uh, one trying. trying. Yeah. <laughs> we were trying, but uh, but it's... yeah, I said like he said, don't run before you can walk. Yeah, if you want to get it right, let's 
get yeah. it right, you know? Let's yeah. not try and do things that uh, we're not ready to do yet. But at the, at the end, uh, Howard, uh, our instructor, he was really pleased with us overall. And, and yeah, he was. you can tell when someone's being genuine with you and he was happy and saying, look, you know, you were, you were going okay then. You were going quite fast, you know. Um, I was I was sort of being a bit blasé, saying, "Oh, we weren't we weren't going quick enough, you know, to fall off, you know." And he was like, "Oh, you'd be surprised. You were you, were, you know you were going quite fast there." Yeah. So, I was, you know, I was quite pleased with the, <laughs> how it went in the yeah. end. Yeah. But now, finish the third session. The one th he says, "Right, okay, there you go." Um, you know, we shook hands, didn't we? Said, yeah. Uh, said how appreciative we were of what everything they'd done for us, and then you go, then you you get changed out of the debrief, and mm -hmm. then you have a de a debrief and. Um, you're given certificates um, uh, with what you excelled at and um, all the rest of it. You get a percentage out of obviously 100%. Um, we won't say what our percentages were. Yeah, it's definitely just, won't. It's a sort, <laughs> it's a sort of point. Uh, but, um, and then obviously advice. Um, you get advice on um, maybe what to look at next time you go. But the one thing absolutely for sure is you definitely want to go again. Yeah. It leaves you so hungry for more, doesn't it? I think if you'd never done one before, for me, the best course of action would be to do the 600s again. Yeah. And and get that, because you, you've you started from zero and you've worked your way up to a comfortable pace that you're happy at, but to then jump on the fire blade, I think it'd be madness. Yeah. I think if you went back and did another uh, course in the Premier around the 600 yeah. to really get you up to speed I think then you'd be ready for the fire blades but yeah. uh, I would definitely I we definitely said we'd recommend doing another 600 we'd do course. the Premier again didn't we yeah, yeah. Uh, however if you want to do the Elite which is the fire blades once you've done a Premier you qualify for the Elite so you can go back you can do an Elite yeah. you know it, it's it's fine you can you can do that um, you get a goodie bag at the end of it with your certificates in key rings pens um, stickers uh, the day box, itself all sorts is of stuff. so well organised. There's no waiting around. You're not standing there scratching your head thinking, oh, what are we waiting for? It's no. so well organised. It organized. goes so quickly, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, and then obviously at the end of it, you can go into the main reception and find out that a guy's been taking pictures of you all day. <coughs> two, yeah. two guys have been taking pictures of you all day. And there you are on the screen. Yeah. Um, you think you've been going around yeah. dead fast, <laughs> yeah. and your lean angles probably you get more out of a push bike. I don't know. But um, so of course you buy the pictures. You yeah. buy those. We we bought the disc. We we got the discs, and um, yeah. yeah, it's a fantastic memory, isn't it? To yeah, walk it back is. on. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, you definitely want to. Well, we're doing it again, aren't we? Absolutely. Simple as that. 100%. We're going back. We're doing it again. Yeah. But for anyone that hasn't done a track day before get the instruction yeah highly recommend it it's yeah. so important you get the instruction and somewhere like the Ryerson Race School <sighs> yeah be perfect it's, it's absolutely perfect you know as a gift for someone if they've never done one before yeah. or you know as a treat for yourself yeah would uh, definitely give it a big it's, thumbs up from me anyway yeah. I mean, we were talking to one guy, weren't we? He just like um, 10 a year. Ten, yeah, 10 a year. You know, he's nearly doing one every month. He just loves it. And it's all under tuition. Yeah. So um, you're never too old to learn. And you never, um, you know, you, you can never learn too much, can you? It's, no. No, but, what we've had in, the, in that instruction, it's invaluable. Yeah. It'll help absolutely. with your road riding. It'll help with every sort of, uh, you know, thing to do with your motorcycling. You know, if you're looking to just improve your riding, improve your style... Um, like I said, even just those small things of, of transferring the weight through your feet, you know, it's going to help massively if you're out on a long ride, you know, where you're not going to be aching as much, although I'm feeling it a bit today, I'll be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so. no, I mean, basically it gets a, a 10 out of 10, yeah. 100%, um, and we would recommend it. We would definitely recommend it to anybody who is a bit nervous about doing a track day. Maybe they want to get into track days, but there's some, you know, the someone's holding them back just do the race on race school it is it is absolutely fabulous yeah you know tip top and again once again thanks to everybody involved in in that on the day absolutely you know yeah from the people doing the the printing the cds off to the women in the, the cafeteria to the yeah. reception uh, everything the instructors the whole package yeah, you're, was, you're made to feel so welcome and so at ease more importantly yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. no big thank yeah. you big thanks We'll be doing. We'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. Definitely. Yeah. Knee down. Yeah. <laughs> Please remember to like and subscribe to the JNS YouTube channel for more videos like this.